How's my channels? Welcome to another video here on Venezuelism. So people have been asking me quite a few questions with regards to the new calisthenics training that I've been doing. And I thought I'd make a video just answering all of the questions that I've been getting. So I compiled a list here of 10 different questions. And if you have more questions regarding the calisthenics, you can ask them in the comment section down below. And I'll make up a I'll, ma I'll make a follow-up Q&A video. So let's get into the questions. Let's get answering, bro. Okay. So the first question is, what program am I doing? So I read the book Convict Conditioning by Paul Wade, and I really like the book. It really appeals to me because of the simplicity of the book. There's only six different exercises. Of course, um, once you've mastered them, there's a lot of variations of those exercises you can do. But for now, I'm just going to focus on the big six as they are called in the book. And that's your push-ups, your pull-ups, your handstands, bridges, leg raises, and handstand push-ups. So, yeah, every, every day I do a different group of exercises. So, for example, today was um, pull-ups, and then tomorrow I think is bridges. And I'm following the Veterano program. So you do six days of different exercises. And then on the seventh day, you've got a rest day. And I am modifying it a little bit. So I'm doing my two full gas sets, doing going as hard as I can. And then after that, I just keep going until my muscles are completely fatigued for the day. So I can just get that, um, that repetition going so my tendons and joints and all those things can develop to make myself as efficient as possible for the exercises that I'm going to be focusing on. So, number two, will I get enough protein as a vegan? You know, there's this misconception that vegans don't get enough protein, and there's just this obsession with protein in society, or at least in the weightlifting, or like the strength um, athlete community in general. They've got this obsession with protein, but Protein is really the last thing you need to worry about. The most important thing is just to get enough calories. And that's very easy to do. So let me give you an example. Okay, a baby, an infant, has to grow the most rapidly out of any stage of life for the human being. And he's get, um, they are getting protein from their um, mother's breast milk. And the protein content of mother's breast milk is about 5%. And babies grow fine on 5%. So... That's the most protein that a human being will ever need. And on a vegan diet, it's very easy, even a high carb, low fat diet, it's very easy to get seven, eight, even 9% of your calories from protein. So plenty of protein there, not worried about protein at all. Just getting enough calories, that's the key. So no vegan protein shake. Obviously not, since I'm getting enough protein as vegan already. I think vegan protein shakes are a complete waste of money, unless um, you'd like to add expensive flavor to your drinks then a vegan protein shake go for it bust the bank bust the bank bro bust the bank like i bust my balls will you do any cardio anymore so yes i will still continue to do cardio although i'm going to cut back a lot on the cardio so 30 minutes a day max that's going to be my cardio quota for the day so you'll either be running or cycling um, i'm not cycling at the moment there's a lot of snow I'm going to be getting back into running in February. That's when I'll start. So yeah, the cardio will start again in Feb. Are you taking any pre-workouts? I take pre-workout every single day. It's called breakfast. Are you using any additional equipment? For now, I would like to not use any additional equipment, but I think if I get more advanced, then I probably will invest in some cheap equipment here and there. But for the most part, I would just like to keep it minimalist and just move my body the way that nature designed, with no equipment. So will you ever do weight training? No, I'm not interested in weight training, especially after reading the Conic Conditioning book. I feel that our bodies are not designed to be isolating certain muscles and, you know, getting strength in an artificial environment. I believe mean, that's meant to gain our strength in a natural way. So we'll be doing that by climbing, jumping, running, all that stuff in nature. So no, I don't believe in isolating muscles. I, I feel the human body works the best with when you're using a whole group of muscles for one exercise at a time, instead of just using one specific muscle. 
So creatine, bro. No, definitely no creatine here. I don't believe in using any performance enhancing substances. So I'm not going to buy any creatine. Um, what are your goals? Well, basically my goals are just to get as strong as possible this year. But it'll be nice to be able to crank out five high quality handstand push-ups. If I can do that, then I feel I've really become a lot stronger than when I started. And I'd also like to do 20 very solid pull-ups, just regular pull-ups with a grip like this instead of a grip like that. And uh, push-ups, I'd like to do some, some close push-ups, maybe 20 quality push-ups like that by the end of the year. Um, I'm not so sure about the other ones, but those three exercises I'd like to improve quite a lot on. And how long do you train each day? It's actually very short at the moment. My longest session so far has been 12 minutes. Um, and that's just the working time. I don't count the time in between sets because a lot of people will say they go to the gym or they work out for an hour. But in reality, the actual lifting time or the time that they're actually doing work is much less. So they're actually probably working for 10 or 20 minutes. So yeah, usually five minutes a day. That's my shortest session. I don't want to go less than five minutes, but yeah, five to 10 minutes a day. That's what I'm working out at the moment. So very minimal there, but I'm just going fucking hard as hard as I can. So uh, yeah, and that's it. That's all the questions, 10 different questions. So if you've got any more, leave them down in the comments below. I will do a follow up video to this one if I get enough questions. So thank you all for watching.